Hello everybody, happy Monday. So I thought that I would jump on the camera really fast and talk about Karen Reed. So how many of you guys have been watching this trial? It is so intense and there's so much to it. I've watched it from day one. I usually watch it over on um, Emily D. Baker's channel and I call her my legal eagle because she is brilliant. And since she's been away, I've also been over on Long, Long Crimes website or YouTube page and watching the trial from there. It's been such a crazy, crazy trial. And I know that many of you are invested in it. Like, I feel personally invested in this. I feel like I've watched so much of it. I haven't listened to a lot of outside influence. Um, in case you don't know, let me just rewind. Karen Reed is the woman they're accusing of murdering her boyfriend by being drunk and backing up into him, leaving him in the snow to die. So tons of testimony, so much. There was good testimony, there was bad testimony. If you guys can remember, there was Detective Proctor who sent all kinds of ornery and terrible messages on his personal phone, which they were allowed to go through because he did work from that phone. So all the messages were open. Some of them were really, really bad, like for real. And right now we are in the fifth day of deliberations, I believe, and the jury is divided. They were divided at the end of last week. Judge sent them back, I think twice. And they came back today with another note. Um, we really don't know how they're split, so we don't know if it's one person holding out, if it's more than one, if they're split on different charges, if they agree on a couple charges. We just don't know. So the judge gave them a stronger order to go back and try to figure it out, that they know this case better than anybody, and that, you know, the evidence is the evidence. They asked for the SRT report. That's like a police report of such. But the judge was like, there isn't one, so you got all the evidence. Do with it what you will. And I guess they've been sitting back there trying to figure it out. We've all been anxiously awaiting. Now, for me personally, I think there is so much reasonable doubt, and I mean so much, that there's no way they should convict her. Absolutely no way. But that's how I feel. That's not how everybody feels. And they had some great expert testimony that was explaining that the car couldn't have hit him in this way. And, you know, I really was taken by the defense's um, witnesses. I really was. They seemed educated. They seemed well-versed and knowledgeable of, you know, what they were testifying about. So... I really felt like um, there wouldn't be a long wait between the jury deliberating and the not guilty verdict. I really didn't. And like I said, I'm personally invested. I'm talking to friends. I'm talking to family. I'm watching Law and Crime in the chat. I'm very active in that chat. And we've all honestly just been on pins and needles. And I think... We'll have to wait and see, but I think obviously, duh, this will be a hung jury. But the problems coming in, like maybe they won't be hung. Maybe they're only hung on one, one um, count. So we don't know until they finish. And so they were at lunch just a little bit ago. They're back to deliberating, and we're just all sitting here waiting, waiting. And I'm sure it's like much more intense for Karen Reed who, you know, obviously can afford a good defense. She seems to be doing well. She did not testify, which I really don't blame her. I don't feel like they needed to put her up on that stand. And I, I'm truly amazed that it's taken this long 
So, just a quick note. I just wanted to like jump on here, see where your heads are at. This is going live on Patreon. I'll probably post it on my YouTube as well. Let me know your thoughts. Like, did you watch it? Have you heard about it? Are you anxiously awaiting a verdict? What do you think? I think personally, they had all these different little things going on where the jury needed out at this time. They're deliberating for a half day here. They're able to go home, blah, blah, blah. Look, it is their duty and every jury's duty to come up with an answer. And I think they should have been locked in and made to fight it out. Now, obviously, if you got one that's just sitting there like guilty, not changing, what do you do with that? You don't do nothing. So I'm hoping that they will poll the jury. I know that Emily has a live that went up a little bit ago that I'm going to check out soon. And I guess we'll see what happens at the end of the day. I think it's obviously going to be a hung jury. I just thought it would be a lot easier for them to come up with that because I listened to the same evidence and witnesses that they did. I saw the same um, trial. So it's wild how everybody can look at something and see it differently. And it's not because I like Karen Reed or think she's attractive or like her attorneys. It has nothing to do with that. I absolutely believe there is a cover-up. I think those were dog bites on his arm. They got the McCabe's got rid of their dog and all kinds of other shit. They were shady as can be. Like, I don't know. I just thought it would be quicker. I thought it would be easier. But I do understand that, you know, somebody's life is being held, you know, in the balance of all of this. So, you know, before I would put somebody away for the rest of their life, potentially, you got to prove it to me. You got to show me the evidence. And I just don't think they did it. So let me know your thoughts. I hope you're having a great Monday. I'm still editing a vlog that will be up in a couple days on Patreon. If you're new to my channel, definitely go to Patreon and get subscribed. Become a patron. It's very cheap, very easy to do. And I love my Patreon family. I love my YouTube family. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you very soon.